Hi friends, this is Selvajan here. Welcome to my networking channel. Hope all are doing good and safe. And today I am going to show how to troubleshoot and debug the DHCP related issues. So what is DHCP is a dynamic host configuration protocol used for assigning IP addresses to the clients dynamically. So here what I have done in this course which I have created three different pools. Let us go to the configuration. So before troubleshooting let us go to the configuration and let us I am going to show what other things I have done. Show IP DHCP pool. So three different VLAN I have created VLAN 10. 20 and 30. So for pool 1 I configured the pool range 10.1 to 10.24 and for pool 3 it is 30.1 to 30.24 and pool 2 it is 20.1 to 20.24. So the first client it is will get the IP address from VLAN 10 that is 10 dot series and this will get the VLAN from VLAN 20 right that is 192.168.20.22 to 20.24 and this will get from VLAN 30 192.168. 30.2 to 30.24. So that is the way I have configured. So you can check the show VLAN brief. So these are the VLAN I created. VLAN 10, 20 and 30. And I have configured the individual gateway. These are the pool I have created. IPDAC pool. And pool 1. Pool, pool 1 is for VLAN 10. Pool 2 is for VLAN 20. And pool 3 is for VLAN 30. Right. So then I configured the access port. This port I configured VLAN 10. And this is in VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. So that is the thing I have configured. So now let us debug the first client. So why it is not getting the IP address? For some reason it is not getting the IP address properly. So what happened is getting the IP address and subnet mask but it is not getting the default gateway. So now we have to figure out the issue why it is not getting the default gateway. So what is the thing we can do? For default gateway what is the command we will configure the de default router IP. So show run include default router. default router so it will show the default router what I configured. So for the second VLAN 20th VLAN for the second PC this is the default router this is nothing but a gateway and this for the say third VLAN that is 30 30 right VLAN 30 this is a gateway. For VLAN 10 there is no gateway so we have to configure the VLAN 10. How we can do that? Go to the individual pool IP DHCP pool pool 1 I configured the for the first VLAN. So default router I have to configure that is 192.168.10.1. So this is the thing I have to configure. So now let us check the show IP, show run DHCP, include DHCP. So this is the thing I configure DHCP pool pool 1 and the pool 1 configuration will be, you are able to see right DHCP pool pool 1 I will configure and network range is 10.0 to 24. This is nothing but a 24 bit mask. So it will come from 10.2 to 10.24. It can assign the IP address to the clients dynamically. And 10.1 this will exclude because this will be in a default router or the default gateway. This is a VLAN 10 gateway. So this is how I configured. So now let us check the client is getting the IP address. Previously it is not getting the gateway right. So let us do a DHCP again. It is requesting the IP address. So it is we are able to get right after configuring the default router. So we are getting the IP address, subnet mask and the gateway from the first uh, client, for the first client, right? So go here and just check the command prompt. So we are able to ping the default gateway of the first client. So now let us debug the second client. Second client. So let us do a DHCP again. So for some reason what happened the client is not getting the IP address. So there are several reasons if the client is not getting the IP address either there is no pool. So the entire pool of IP address gets depleted or removed or there is no IP address from the pool to assign to the individual client right. So there are several reasons. So now let us see what is the exact reason. So let us go to the switch configuration. So switch I configured as a DHCP server right. So now do show run include DHCP. So we are able to see the difference right for the second VLAN I have configured 20.1 and 20.1 to 254. So this entire IP address will get excluded from the DHCP pool. So what happened there is no IP address uh, will be assigned to the client. So when there is no IP address assigned to the client the client will automatically get the automatic private IP addressing. So that is the reason it is getting IP in the range of 169.254. So how we can do, remove that do you can remove the excluded address it is not mandatory right. So we can remove this excluded address. Let us do a paste. Yeah. So now let us see whether it is getting or not. So now let us go here and just let us do a DHCP again. So still we are getting only the 
IP 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 automatic private IP addressing since since that uh, DSTP catch is not clearing so what we can do only one option so what we can do let us go here and let us remove the pool and let us reconfigure it again so let us do a show IP no IP DHCP pool pool 2 I configured for the VLAN 20 so pool pool 2 and also let us remove the excluder address DHCP excluder address that is 192.168.20.1 so now let us configure the reconfigure the pool again that is the only thing we can do DSCP pool pool 2 is a configuration we have to do then go to the network command 192.168.20.0 followed by the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 followed by the default router is 192.168.20.1 so this is the thing we have to configure right so first I have assigned the pool then pool name then followed by the network 20.0 20, the 224 bit mask that means it will assign the IP address from 20.1 to 20.24 then this is a gateway 20.1 so what we can do now, now let us exclude this IP address IP DCP excluded address that is 192.168.20.1 right we are able to see the DSCP conflict so we will exclude the IP address because this is the individual VLAN gateway so that's the reason I am excluding this IP address so now let us check the binding so now let us go to the individual configuration so yeah you are now able to see right now it is getting the IP address and the subnet mask and the default gateway right because previously it is not it is all the IP address are excluded from the DHCP that is the reason the IP address are not assigned to the client so now I remove the exclusion list and then I reconfigure the second pool so now the IP address are getting from the DHCP server right so that's the thing and let us see the third PC so the third PC I configure the correct pool so it is getting the IP address from the client see so the clients are getting IP address from the DHCP server so this is the way we can troubleshoot the DHCP so now let us check the binding show IP DHCP binding it will show the client address right 10.2 it is assigned for the first client and the corresponding MAC and 20.2 is for the second client and the 30.2 is for the third client it is getting the IP address it is the individual MAC address of the corresponding client right so it is automatic because it is getting IP address from the DHCP server automatically so that is the reason so if you want to check the bind pool you can check like this show IP DHCP pool you can check like this so it will show the individual pool and what are the addresses it excluded so this is the way you have to configure and troubleshoot the DHCP related issues now we can just ping the IP address from the server DHCP server so 192.168.10.2 I am able to reach and the second IP is 20.2 and the third IP is 30.2 so right this is the way you can configure and troubleshoot and configure the DHCP related issue this is the way we can debug the DHCP related issue I hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching please subscribe me for more videos thank you and have a wonderful day